Hi, Matt B here and welcome to M2M, the channel that burns the nonsense. And welcome to this new series simply called Moon Hoax, where I debunk the most common moon land hoax theories, both old and new, from the era of Apollo from 1969 to 1972. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon, select all, and you'll be notified when I upload more videos. And if you'd like the video, then please hit the thumbs up. But the best thing for you to do if you comment below in each video, let me know how I'm getting on. And if there's any moon hoax theories that you'd like me to add, then let me know in the comments below and I'll look at adding it. So anyway, let's get on with the video and roll the credits. Number two, flag waving on the moon, when there is no atmosphere or wind on the moon. This is probably one of the oldest hoax theories and still going since the days of Bill Casing, the father of the moon landing conspiracy theories, and another one very simple to explain. I'm sorry if I'm pointing out the obvious, but I feel I need to for some because this is still being used today, especially on Facebook. First off, if you look at the flags on all the moon landings right from Apollo 11 to 17, in both the still images and the videos, you can clearly see the top edge of the flags are straight. Where do you see that happening on a flag flying here on Earth in the wind? You just don't. And the reason for this is because the top edge of the flag has a seamed slot, where a crossbar is fed through it. And the leading edge is also attached to the pole. Not only that, the crinkling at the top is deliberate to make it look authentic and the creases are there because it has been screwed up for days or even weeks before the mission. Well that was simple and another stupid theory burned 